Hello, my name is Brandon Carter. I'm an application engineer at the ProLin PLM. In this snack bite video, we're going to take a look at a command called One Step Formability. All right, so you notice on the screen we have this, you know, somewhat complex shape part. Have you ever asked yourself, how would I get a flat pattern of that or a blank definition from that particular part? Some of you may be familiar with NX Sheet Metal where we focus more on parts that would be created from a press break. So there's flat solid and flat pattern in which the parts are unbent. Here we want to look at more of a blank definition where a part like this would be stamped or formed. All right. Before we look at the one step formability tool, let's first look at the measurement of the thickness, the material thickness. So I'm just going to come in here with measurement tools and we notice that that's two millimeters thick. Okay now right now this part it is the solid body and it's imported geometry of that so the the data could have come from another CAD system. So I'm going to come up here and run the analyze formability one step. Our goal here is blank definition, so I'm going to go ahead and just use tangent faces, and in this case it's grabbing the outside faces of the part. As far as how do we want to hold this part, there's different options for boundary conditions and constraints, so we have point to point, curve to curve, curve along curve. I'm going to go ahead and do curve to curve. For this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and hold it on this edge, and I'm also going to hold it with these two edges. The next step is we need to select a material. So this is an analysis tool. So we're basically saying how are we going to hold the part, what's our material properties, and what's the draw direction. In this case, I'm just going to use steel and pull those material properties. For the draw direction, I'm just going to define a vector. You know, one way to think about this is our smash direction, which we're calling draw direction. And then here underneath thickness, I am grabbing the outer surface. And because we are using the solid here on the screen with infer, infer thickness, it is pulling the two millimeter thickness for us automatically. Now underneath calculation, you'll notice we can infer an element size. So basically what's happening is we're going to go ahead and mesh this part. And like I said, this is an analysis tool. so we're going to create the mesh. This infer element size is just giving us a nice um, guess at what a good mesh size is. If we wanted to put our own mesh in there, we could uncheck this and type in an overall element size, maybe smaller, and make that mesh a little finer. With this particular mesh, I'm going to do a quick um, quality check. It says it's fine. And then with calculate, we're going to go ahead and create the flat pattern of this. So we've constrained it. Our force is used through our draw direction it's just a holding force we've got the material properties from steel and we've got our mesh definition so it's going to use the mesh to create the blank definition or our flat pattern All right, notice the blue curves that are created that's our our blank definition now once again because this is an analysis tool we have some different options down here to look at different criteria about how this is going to be formed. Meaning that we can display the thickness. So of that two millimeters, you notice our, our area of concern is up here where it has that deep draw. Here we can look at stress where our max stress is. Same with strain. Here's display the flattened shape so you can actually see the mesh in its flattened form inside of those curves. The profile there as we have before. This create sheet body, when I hit OK on the command, you'll see that this is a, a surface when we finish the command. That's what create sheet body is doing. And then like with a lot of analysis tools, we can create a quick report. So what this is doing this is allowing us to get nice clean screenshots so I can rotate the model around and hit OK and take my own snapshots or screenshots for the particular XML report. So here's a screenshot for thickness, here's a screenshot for stress, strain, and then the mesh. Then here's our XML report, there's the part we're flattening, here's our material properties, it's a holder force, 
Here's a number of nodes and elements based on our mesh. Then here's our screenshot for thinning, stress, strain, and the flattened shape. So very quickly you can have a nice little report inside of one step form ability. So when I go ahead and hit OK, now you see that surface that I talked about with that option. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. In the last example, I went ahead and used the outside surfaces in, in, in NX, the one step command, inferred the material thickness. Here I want to take a look at using the concept of a mid surface. A lot of times, if we're using something with a common or the same material thickness, we just want a mid surface to do our analysis on. The first thing we'll do is we'll come up and see how thick this particular part is. And this one's 2.6 millimeters. To create our mid surface, I'm going to come in here and do face pairs. Face pairs is a nice, quick, easy way to create a mid surface. I'm going to go ahead and do 0.5. So it's in the middle and automatically create those face pairs and we'll just have it set to hide to solid when we're done. So the only thing displayed is that mid surface. Now we'll go ahead and run our one step formability tool again. We're going to grab this mid surface. Same story as before. How do we want to hold the part? I'm going to come up here where this is kind of flat. and just kind of pick these edges. You know, it's up to your discretion on your part. You know, your manufacturing methods, how you want to hold the part and what your draw direction is. Same thing, we need to select a material. I'm just going to stick with steel again. Draw direction, I'm just going to pick something normal to the, this surface up here. Now I'm going to say that we're going to use the mid surface. And because I'm only using the mid surface, it can infer the thickness. So in this case, I'm going to type in the material thickness. We'll go ahead and infer the mesh size, the element size. So we got a quick mesh and same story as before we'll hit calculate to go ahead and create the flat pattern. Once again we got our thinning for our thickness, our stress, strain, there's the mesh in its flattened state. We already saw the profile and if I want that to be a sheet Whenever I hit OK, there's our blank definition. These are curves, so these could be exported to DXF if you needed that to be uh, um, for downstream manufacturing. In this snack bite video, we took a look at how one step formability helps us flatten more complex shapes. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.